Hello and welcome to our special interview with Lok Sabha Speaker, Mrs. Meera Kumar. Mrs. Meera Kumar is visiting Myanmar from 12th to 15th of February. Let's know from her what is the purpose of, the, of this visit. She's heading the Indian Parliamentary Delegation to Myanmar. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Kumar, for joining us uh, in this you, special Natasha, interview. Thank you, Natasha, and my greetings to all the audience. Yes, uh, uh, you rightly said, I'm leading a parliamentary delegation to Myanmar. It's a bilateral visit. And uh, you see, right from my childhood, I had heard of Burma, which it was called earlier as being a very close friend of India. And I had always wanted to go there. So I'm really looking forward to this visit. And uh, with me in the delegation are members of Parliament of Lok Sabha. There's Bhakta Charan Das. There's Srimati Menaka Gandhi. Uh, she Joseph Topo. And uh, uh, she S. Semalai. Myanmar uh, has a bicameral parliament, which means it has two houses. Uh, my counterpart uh, had visited India on my invitation in December 2011 and extended an invitation to me to come to his country with a parliamentary delegation. I'm going there in response to that invitation and uh, I must tell you uh, and audience that uh, Myanmar uh, occupies a very strategic position in Southeast Asia. Uh, it is a member of the ASEAN. It, is, it has observer status in SARC and it is a very important component of our Look East policy. And we also have a strategic partnership with uh, Myanmar. And uh, this visit is taking place to strengthen uh, relations between the two parliaments, also to enhance people-to-people -people contact and uh, build bridges of enduring friendship between two cultures. So as you told us, people-to-people -people interaction is the focus of your visit. Also, you'll be visiting several important people from the political arena. Could you tell us what is it that is high on your agenda when you meet these people from the political arena? I would be meeting the president and uh, the speakers, the two speakers of the upper house and of the lower house. And of course, I would be meeting the chief ministers of uh, Yangon and Mandalay. Uh, apart from that, uh, I would also be meeting the Yan Sang Suu Kyi and uh, the Indian community in Mandalay and uh, uh, in Yangon. Uh, apart from that, what I'm really excited about is uh, going to visit uh, and pay my homage to the last Mughal emperor, uh, Bahadur Shah Zafar. I'll be going to his bazaar. And uh, uh, it's fascinating that he, he was not just the emperor, but he was also uh, a famous poet. Uh, and uh, then I would be going to uh, the very beautiful Shwedagon Pagoda. So uh, during this visit, I'm meeting very important people, exchanging ideas and benefiting from each other's experiences. I also look forward to meeting ordinary people and coming to know what the ordinary people of Myanmar are. Considering that you're meeting several important people from the political arena, could you tell us about the political importance of this visit at a time when India is focusing on its Look East policy and this will be also a step forward in building Indo-Myanmar relations. We also share a very strong Indo-cultural uh, ties with Myanmar. Parliamentary delegation from India goes to any country on a bilateral visit. There's tremendous 
political impact and importance of this visit. And uh, uh, since we have such a close relationship, such an enduring friendship with Myanmar, we have civilizational links with Myanmar, I'm sure our visit will be taking care of several aspects of uh, the political and the economic relationship between the two countries. Uh, so far as Myanmar is concerned, uh, it, it is a very positive development that it is fast moving towards a democratic framework and is also making consistent efforts to strengthen its economy as neighbor and as a friend. Neighbor because we uh, share a very long land border and uh, mm, a very long uh, maritime boundary uh, with Myanmar. Um, it, it is um, our uh, prime duty to ensure that we are of assistance uh, in uh, strengthening uh, their uh, roots of democracy in their soil and also in extending as much as possible uh, our cooperation uh, to uh, develop a dynamic economy in, uh, in Myanmar. Also because uh, parliament uh, is the repository of uh, people's will our visit would uh, strengthen people-to-people -people contact and uh, build bridges between the two cultures. So, uh, India being the world's largest democracy and you heading this edifice of Indian democracy, I'm sure people in Myanmar are looking forward to your visit and uh, we are on our way to achieve a new milestone uh, uh, considering that the Lok Sabha speaker is uh, visiting Myanmar at a time when India and Myanmar are looking forward to strengthening uh, their uh, ties. Uh, thank you very much, Mrs. Kumar, for joining us uh, in this important interview, taking out time from your hectic schedule. Pleasure having you and we wish you a very happy journey. Thank you very much. Thank you, Natash.